YouTubers. It's been a while, mostly because I haven't been able to think any worthwhile topics to talk about on here, so if you have any ideas, feel free to let me know if you have any questions, any topics for vlogs or whatever. Please submit them, because I am pretty much clueless <laughs> otherwise. So, there's that. Anyway, so, probably most recently, over last weekend, I went to Palm Springs, and I saw, and I probably shouldn't be admitting this, being Eliza fan and all, but I went and saw Lorna Lufton concert. Again. As if once weren't enough. For those who don't know, Lorna is Liza's half-sister, or basically Judy Garland's other daughter who never really made it big. Went and saw her anyway, and you know, it actually wasn't that bad. And <laughs> That was ah, surprising to me because the first time I saw her, not gonna lie, I thought she sucked. So, why did I go and see her again? Basically because there was a free ticket involved. <laughs> God, I'm such a Jew, I know. But anyway, so, <laughs> that aside, um, oh, in more exciting news, and let me get up the details here on that. Um... So, June 24th is already marked on my calendar, even though I don't have tickets for it yet. You know why? Because Liza's coming to Livermore, which is, like, maybe 20 minutes away from where I live, and I'm super stoked. It doesn't matter that I've seen her God knows how many times already, but I'll pretty much go anywhere to see her. <laughs> but yeah, I'm definitely, definitely going to this show, and it'll be the first time I bring any of my family to see Liza with me. I know for sure that my dad's going. And depending on um, what the rules are on age limits for the winery, I don't know if they'll let my little sister in or not, because she's only uh, 11, I think. I don't know. <laughs> I'm a horrible sister, I know. But um, <laughs> she's about 11 anyway, and I'm not sure if they'll let somebody into something like that, or if they have to be 21. So I'm going to call ahead. I was going to do that today, but I didn't because I'm a bad person. But, um... Yes, Liza's coming here, and that is fucking amazing, so I'm going. Hopefully Kimmy will be going, because she made me promise that if Liza ever comes out here, I would take her to see her, so there we go. So there's that. There was, oh, speaking of Liza, she turned up at quite an unlikely place the other night. Not that I saw her, but, um, <laughs> I wish, but, um, no, over last weekend she was at Perez Hilton's birthday party, which really blows my mind for how much he has ripped on that poor woman over the years, but she was the headlining act. I mean, there was, like, other people there. Like, I know right after her, Katy Perry rode in on an elephant and sang happy birthday to him, which I would say that would be the headline, but whatever. It's not up to me, but, um, there was her. I know there was people like Lindsay Lohan there, which, but, um... <laughs> Uh, who else was there? John Stamos was there, and I found a picture of him with Liza, and that freaking made my day. Not gonna lie, it made my day, because he is, like, one of the few guys I'd go straight for, but whatever. Um, also, speaking of him, he was on, like, Dancing with the Stars two nights after, no, three nights? Two or three nights, anyway, <laughs> after that. He was performing with the Beach Boys on Dancing with the Stars, of all things. They said he was gonna be on there as a drummer which was partially true, not entirely true, because he started out on the drums, then he moved to the bongo drums, and then, like, by the end of it, he ended up on guitar. I don't even know. I'm not even sure if he was really playing or if he was just there to look pretty and detract from the fact that, you know, I hate to say it, the Beach Boys fucking suck now, um, which is really disappointing because I loved them in their heyday, but... Yeah, the guy that they have as their lead singer really cannot sing anymore, and it's sad, but age does that to people, so there's that. Speaking of other people who can't sing, and my sister will probably have my head once she hears me say this, but, um, uh, that new Miley Cyrus movie, the last song, I can't really review because I haven't seen it yet, but I think on Saturday I'm seeing it with Kimmy, so based on the reviews I've already read of it, it's not gonna be pretty, but pretty much every single Miley Cyrus film that has come out yet, or so far, not yet, but, um, everyone that's come out so far, I've gone with Kimmy to go see. 
And this is no exception, and when the Sex and the City movie comes out, I'll probably take her to see that too, because Miley has a small cameo in that. But again, Liza's also in that, so I was going to see it anyway, but probably not the most brilliant film to bring a kid that young to go see, but oh well, I'm doing it anyway, so <laughs> I don't even know what it's rated. I don't know if it's that bad or whatever, but there's that. Um... It may or may not become, like, the last film she does because of everybody saying that she sucks and, like, her Disney contract is up and don't like me. I'm splitting split ends, but, um, anyway. <laughs> I lost my train of thought. Oh, well. So, moving on. <laughs> Hollywood remakes. Oh, my God. I think I've already touched on this before, but they're totally doing a remake of Arthur, and I'm pissed. They're doing... Or they're having um, Russell Brand in the role of Arthur, and nobody's ever gonna be Arthur but Dudley Moore to me. Just, no. I refuse to watch it. I'm boycotting that friggin' movie. I want nothing to do with it. Beyonce is gonna be in a remake of a. Yeah, a Star is Born, which I think will be the third remake of that film now. Hopefully. Technically, Judy's was a remake too. The first one came out in the 30s, I think, but hers is, like, the best one. All the others suck, so. Whatever. Um, there's gonna be a remake of Foul Play with Goldie Hawn's daughter in her role, and hmm, I'm not looking forward to that. I'm not that wild about Kate Hudson. There's going... Uh, speaking of Goldie remakes, there's also going to be a remake of Overboard and a remake of... Not Saving Private Ryan. What do I always... Make? Private Benjamin. I'm just like, no, that is so not gonna work. And I think there was one other one I heard, but I can't remember what it was. I don't know. It's gone. I'm flighty today. Um, I know there was one other big remake that I wasn't thrilled about when I heard about it, but... I seriously can't remember now. Oh, what else? What else? Um, so Yoko Ono was given the... Um, or she was titled... I don't know what the proper word for that would be. But she was given a title of the Global Autism Ambassador, which I think is really cool. Because I'm not, well, not really autistic, but I have Asperger Syndrome, which is a mild form of autism. I mean, Google it if you don't know what it is. But, um, I don't know. I like Yoko. This made me like her that much more. I think she gets a bad reputation, very unfairly so, because, I mean, everybody's like, oh, she broke up the Beatles. No, she didn't. She had nothing to do with that. I'd rather not get into a big argument with people in comments over this, because I am not up for a fight, but I will win, just saying, if you even attempt it. But, yeah, she had nothing to do with the breakup. And people will argue that she's weird. She's avant-garde. Yes, she is, but I love that. I'm weird, too, so <laughs> I really have no room to judge her. And, I mean, everybody says that she's just trying to make money off of John's work. Sure, but so are the other Beatle wives, so if you're gonna hate on her, you gotta hate on them too, but whatever. I don't know. I like Yoko, and this just brought her up a few more pegs in my books. Whatever. And I think I've run out of stuff to say, so.